Hey everyone, Rayo here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to bring you the first episode of my latest series, The Reckless Ranger. In this series, I'll be focused on earning best in slot ranged gear, learning all bosses possible with ranged, and becoming the best I possibly can with the ranged combat style. Before we get started though, I wanted to mention that I'll be hosting a giveaway to kick off the series. The total amount will be determined by the amount in my coin pouch as well as the amount left over from selling off all my current ranged gear. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see the details on how to participate. So getting started with the Reckless Ranger series, it's going to be a little bit different than the Maxi Melee series. Um, the Maxi Melee series I basically started with tier 90s, uh, Scythe, Full Trim Masterwork, as well as Pre-Archaeology Best in Slot perk. So I had a decent start with that, but on the same token, I didn't know how to do all the bosses that I know how to do now. There's also a lot of other grinds like 120 Archaeology, 120 Herblore, and all these other things that were kind of just different grinds all throughout the series. So there's a bunch of different um, things that I wanted to fulfill. And a lot of those things already apply straight out the gate to range. So this series, I want to start off with a little bit of restrictions just because I don't want to just basically have my only restriction to progressing to best in slot be GP because I know how to do Raksha, I know how to do ED3. Um, well, EDs in general, as well as care pack. And that's been what's gotten me a lot of my upgrades lately. And it just boosted me to a whole nother wealth tier. So it's just, I need to have some sort of restrictions in order to make this a, a good progression type series. As mentioned earlier with the giveaway, I said that it's going to be everything in my coin pouch. So 685 mil plus selling all of my current ranged gear. Which I didn't want to do at first, but I mean, it's not like an insane amount really, but um, mainly just like the Serenic and Ascension crossbows. Like that's really the, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much my ranged gear. Stuff like pocket slide items and Grim, I'm not going to go all that crazy with it. Like I'm going to use pocket slide items. I'm going to use uh, amulets and rings and capes and all that stuff, like understandable unlocks. But I mean, when it comes to gear, I'm going to sell that. I'm going to dismantle my Serenic gear. I'm going to de-augment or unaugment these bows. I'm going to sell them and all of that is going to go to the overall loot pile for the giveaway. All right. So we have nine Serenic scales. We have the Ascension crossbows and we have the Serenic gear. I don't think I have any other Serenic. Do I? Uh, let me see. Bows. All right. So for bows, I'm I'm not okay. So just to kind of clarify this right from the beginning as well, the Saren God Bow, I'm not going to be using this. This is solely going to be a melee off style spec swap. I really just use this at Raksha. So I'm just going to be considering this a melee upgrade. So you won't really see me using this as a uh, rate or as a regular weapon, really. So just you don't have to worry about that. That's really all I can think of. I sold all my ancient scales. Let me just go ahead and sell these as well, just because some people we'll consider that a weird start let's just go ahead and inflate the number a little bit let's just sell a little bit more loot see what else we can get out of here i'm pretty sure that's it though so we'll sell those keys too awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and sell all this stuff i'm gonna dismantle the serenic and then we will be back in just a moment all right gonna disassemble the serenic disassemble again and disassemble one more time offhand ascension crossbow broken and the main hand broken Ooh, let's go repair them all right, what is the price check on these? Okay, it's not as much as I, th I thought they were 200 mil each, but oh man, this is good. <laughs> this is good, bro. Oh man. Oh man. Y'all are going to have a good giveaway. Oh, this is this is cool. I want to make it at least a bill though. So if I'm selling off all my range gear, then what am I going to do? What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start off in full armadillo. And I'm also going to start off with Chaotix. So there's going to be quite a bit of progression to do right up front. I'm going to restrict myself to not just flat out buying the upgrades, or at least not all the upgrades, because I mean, I don't want to take away that aspect of it. Like I'm not an Iron Man, so I don't really want to play fully like an Iron Man, but I do want to Iron Man a few of the things. Like when it comes to ascension crossbows, I'm probably just going to farm those up myself because they're really not too bad and it's a ranged only boss. So um, I feel like that's just that just thematically makes sense. So I'm going to farm up my own ascension crossbows and I'm probably going to try and farm up my own set of Pernix gear. And I'm definitely going to be farming up my own set of elite Serenic all the way from like ascension scales. 
Um, Ascension scales, I was considering just starting off with the amount that I had, but after doing Raksha and doing Zuck and all that stuff, I realized how quickly you get Ascension scales or as ancient, what are they called? Ancient scales, Serenic scales, there we go. I noticed how quick that you get those. I don't think it's gonna take nearly as long as I originally thought. I think I'll get that before, honestly, before I even get Pernix, I'm sure. So I don't think I'm going to use the normal tier Serenic though. I wanna get Virtus or I wanna, I wanna get another form of decent uh, ranged gear before I actually get um, Elite Serenic. But either way, I will need to get Pernix so I can break it down. So who knows? I might just farm my own Pernix set. I might go with the Twin Fury set. So we have 990 mil. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves an arm. Oh, I also had to sell, uh, I forgot, fleeting boots. And I kind of mentioned this in passing, but I'm I'm just going to use amulets because I've already unlocked Essence of Finality. So that's really not a range specific grind. It's just Reapers and Clue Scrolls. And I'm, I just, I got to be honest, that is just a grind that I do not care to do. <laughs> I'm not going to. It's just a boring grind. I'm not going to include in a range specific series. So I'm just going to use the essence of finality. So I really just need a helmet and then my chaotic crossbows. <sighs> dude, this is actually really, really exciting, dude. I'm pretty darn stoked about this. This is really cool. All right. Uh, pocket slot. I guess we can just use a... We have Scrimshaw Cruelty. So I guess we can use that for right now. Or we'll use, we'll use Book of One. It's cheap upkeep and it'll be something good for learning range so i need an armadillo helmet and then chaotic crossbows how much dungeoneering tokens do i have do i have enough no crap i don't hmm you know what i do have though i do have lucky chaotic crossbows um <laughs> should i do it i think i'm gonna do it <laughs> i'm gonna do it all right all right i'm a th prodigy all right don't hate me <laughs> Oh man. Okay. So it was either those or it's dungeoneering tokens that I don't have. So I'm not going to be doing this. <laughs> I'm not going to be farming a whole bunch of dungeoneering for this series anyway, either. So we have all of our gear all sorted out. I just need those augmenters and I am good to go, my friend. All right. So we are all set to go. It looks like, I mean, this is a pretty decent setup. Let's just see how we look. Ooh, we're looking, I mean, this is pretty high level. I will say when it comes to like the niche upgrades, like the cape and the, the amulet and all that stuff. I mean, our accuracy is going to be severely lacking with these bows, but um, honestly, the armor is not the biggest concern. But uh, like I said, the bows are going to be one of the first upgrades. But there's a couple of things I want to try in this episode. So I want to see how well we can do against next work on some ascension kills as well. See if we can get some signets and... I also want to work on some Shattered Worlds because I don't know how soon I'm going to be making use of, uh, what is it, Greater Dazing Shot and Salt in the Womb, but I imagine it'll be somewhat important once I do get a 2H of some sort. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start just chipping away at that. I think I have about 1 or 11 million anima or something. Let me see. Yeah, 11 million anima. So I think I need 63 million. So I want to kind of work on that in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and deposit one bill into the bank. This is going to be for the giveaway. And I'm going to take pretty much all the remainder out. So 2661. All the remainder will be my starting cash. So it's really not a whole lot of starting cash. One billion going to giveaways. That's a nice chunk of change right there. Let's see. I also need to take Greater Ricochet off the bar because another thing with Greater Ricochet and some of my other unlocks. Um, let's see. I think I mentioned er earlier that I wanted to earn my gear uh, for the most part, you know, I mean, I'll, uh, I'll earn it through like drops I get through ranged and all that stuff, but um, like I'll Iron Man a few things, but I'll earn the rest with uh, GP that I get from bossing with ranged. Um, but with stuff like Greco, I think that's really the only one or Greco, whatever you say. I think that's really the only, um, the only codice unlock that I have. I mean, I have desolation unlocked as well which hmm let's see that was a pretty un pretty big unlock for melee so i think i'm also going to take desolation off my bar i don't want to but um that's just gonna make it a little bit more fair that was an upgrade i had for melee so i want to make it kind of consistent with ranged so i took off Greco or Greco, 
and I took off Desolation. So I just have uh, tier 95, like the range turmoil, and then no ricochet. So yeah, I don't have augmented weapons because these are luckies, so I can't really benefit from that. Uh, yeah, I think that is pretty much the start. So let's, um, honestly, I want to see how next goes. I, <laughs> I don't, I honestly don't think it's going to go well, but I just want to see how realistically possible, if that's even proper English, I just want to see how realistic it is to do next in this kind of gear. So tier 70 armor, as well as unaugmented tier 80 weapons. All right. Oh, and I have no presets for ranged. Oh my yikes, bro. This is actually going to be lame. I don't really care about Cal Fight King. So let me overwrite it with this and then we'll build from here. There we go. Cool. So this is going to be our next preset. So let's go ahead and build this up. I'm actually going to take off the reverse ring for this because I know that accuracy is really important here. I'm going to bring the Asylum Surgeon's ring. Or no, let me bring Ring of Death because I'm not really working with much of a coin pouch and so if i have death costs <laughs> it's gonna be pretty uh pretty detrimental um so i'd rather just soak it out of the ring of death let's go ahead and get just like a decent inventory man this is a weird feeling i have no switches for range none at all absolutely none so this feels very odd i i'm not i'm not really used to, gosh i'm gonna be having an inventory full of food bruise for the most part i imagine i i have no idea i that might be okay though for the start so i can actually bring like a nihil instead of a yak we got the flex of a bd switch which is sick yeah i have no i think like all of this stuff is typically a switch zone in my melee preset so yeah oh, this is this is so weird this is so i've been melee locked for over a year this feels odd I like honestly have not even touched the other styles that much. These will be like a, my oh no, oh no foods. That's what they'll be. My oh no foods. Sweet. I guess, uh, I guess that's it. Let's, uh, <laughs> good, good luck to us. But yeah, I'm not going to rebind all my like weapon swaps just yet because I don't really have any for ranged. I think I can deal with clicking for right now. Um, but I also want to look at what ability bars I have and see if I can just make some range specific swaps or like basically a ranged mimic bar. And uh, that way I don't have to rebind all my melee stuff all the time because I'm still going to be doing a lot of melee content, but um, I just don't want to have to rebind everything all the time. All right. I guess that's it. <laughs> Guys. Oh my gosh. I'm not used to, dude. That, this is so different. This is so different. All right, where is Reckless? There it is. See what I did? Reckless and I'm a Ranger series title. <laughs> I'm just going to do a 30 minute aura because I really just want to test this out. I don't necessarily want to farm this. I also need to change this to this preset. And then I also need to make sure that I'm using English. Oh, this is I'm I'm nervous. Actually, I'm pretty darn nervous here. Oh, fortunately, it's my first encounter of the week. So uh, my first paid instance. Oh, gosh, <laughs> I'm actually really nervous, dude. Oh, I have no idea how this is going to go. This could absolutely be horrendous. Oh, I didn't bring Vuln Bombs. That's probably not a good idea. I mean, I'm actually doing pretty darn well. I thought I'd have like zero damage, like complete, like absolutely no damage at all. Oh, heck yeah, bro. Just like instant, dude. Ugh. That's not good. All right, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Can I do it? The juke? Juke? Oh my gosh, dude. No, no, no. Can you uh, relax? Next? Holy crap, bro. Ugh, next, you're annoying, bro. Ooh, I don't think next expected that juke, bro. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that damage either. All right. Oh gosh, that was a bad idea. Oh, I also don't know if I should ignore these i don't think i should please please oh please oh heck yeah that was that was clutch dude uh i don't know if that was a great idea oh did i just sign oh i think i've been signed oh heck yeah bro oh geez oh geez oh geez come on come on come on please tell me yeah bro Oh no. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's not impossible. That's not impossible at all. So 
I'm definitely gonna give that another try. Oh wait, that's not that's not the button I meant to hit. Oh lordy. I guess I could, yeah, use Devo a little bit more often, huh? That would probably be good. Excuse me? That's not what I meant to do either. Oh my gosh, I'm not used to these skills at all. Okay, that was a lot better. I wasn't chugging so much there. Oh! Oh gosh, did I just heal her? Gosh, dude. Oh no, no, no. No, don't use a bleed. Oh gosh, this is this is painful, bro. This is so painful to watch, I'm sure. That's not where I meant to go, my bro. All right, this is what we're doing, actually. Jeez, bro. Please? Yes. Thank you. Uh, can you phase? There we go. Oh, no. Oh, dude. This is hard. This is hard. But I mean, I'm not really using all my food because I'm, I, I always do this. I always try and save my food in case it gets worse. All right, I'm I'm going to get one kill at least. At least, at least, at least. Ah, oh, dang it. That's such a waste. Oh, wait. Why do I keep using that skill? Oh, my gosh. Hit, bro. Hit, bro. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Come on. Oh, my gosh, bro. Dude, this is triggering me pretty bad right now. I can't stand that phase on next, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Phase, bro. Phase, phase, phase. All right, so far so good. Wait, what? Oh. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Wow, bro. Wow, I did not think I was actually gonna get that skip. That was nice. That was great, bro. All right, sweet. Now we're gonna phase next and she's gonna instantly ice prison. But that's gonna be okay. There we go.
There we go. All right, this is going to be it, bro. You know, assuming I don't get smacked. All right, come on, Pernix. Come on, Pernix, bro. Oh, never lucky. I can't actually say that, though. I can't say that. <laughs> Calvin, if you're watching this. Dude, okay, so next is definitely possible. Is it viable? I wouldn't say so, I guess. It's just... It's tedious. I mean, honestly, if you can kill it consistently, then yeah, next is pretty good money. Even if you get slow kills, if this is like the best boss that you can do, it's probably really good money. But honestly, I think my time is going to be better spent doing um, other things like upgrading the ascension crossbows because that is a whole 10 tiers more of damage and accuracy. And I'd be able to augment them. So that'd be even more damage and accuracy. So. Uh, that would be pretty darn huge. So what I'm probably going to do um, is I think I'm going to farm some legions. I don't have any. I do have a keystone um, or a signet. So I'm just going to keep that. Um, fight me. No, I'm just going to keep that signet. But uh, I need to get two of each signet. I'm going to farm the rest. So let's go ahead and work on that. Go to the GE and get a few of those. Yeah, I don't really have a whole lot of money to work with. So actually, I don't even know how many um, how many keystones I'll be. Yeah, I won't even really be able to get 10 legions. Sweet. All right, yeah, I imagine this is not going to be a very, um, very difficult grind. This is just going to be a grind, honestly. These guys are not really too hard to do. Because one of the earliest things I want to knock out is actually getting decent weapons. And then, uh, oh, whoops, I forgot. I don't have the nightmare gauntlet. So I can't really, uh, can't really move and snipe at the same time. But yeah, I really just want to upgrade my weapons and my armor to get to a point where, uh, I can actually function. Oh, go, go. Oh my gosh. That was almost deadly. Very almost deadly. <laughs> Very almost deadly. Dude, now I remember why I didn't like doing Nex or Legions too much. It's because it's so click intensive, dude. It is insanely click intensive and my wrist is already hurting. I haven't even been... I, I, I've been doing this for 26 minutes, 27 minutes as of this aura timer. And I thought it was bad with melee. No, <laughs> the amount of movement on these two bosses is just nuts. All right, last keystone, last keystone. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, and nada, 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 nada. Okay, I don't really want to waste too much money. I want to have something just in case. All right, so we weren't lucky there, but I do have this... Um, I don't want to go to Shattered Worlds just yet because I just remember that I have this Twin Furies Reaper. And so at Twin Furies, what could be beneficial is if I get the Zamorak Crest. If I get a Zamorak Crest, then I can upgrade my armor to, to the Zamorak Anima Core armor. I'm going to go ahead and knock out this Twin Furies task with ranged and see if I can get lucky with a crest or at least just some GP so I can maybe sell some things and buy some more keystones. All right, I guess I'm just going to use uh, Majorat Aura for now. I think we'll be okay. Oh, no, I'm actually missing quite a bit. Granted, that's understandable because, you know, these are not uh, 
the best weapons to be using. But but I guess now, since I'm doing some some actual PVM-ish content, then it would be beneficial to maybe start focusing on a rotation, maybe not overriding my snipe, um, and just kind of starting to trying to figure out uh, what would actually be a beneficial skill order to use. I'm not really sure what is the best to use anyway. Um, I always figure that I would want to use Needle Strike over any of my other abilities because I'm pretty sure Needle Strike does in makes your next ability do 7% increased damage. Yeah. So, oh crap. I don't know if that was a good idea to run so quick. Ah, okay. Dude, I feel like a, like a complete noob right now. Like I, I feel so lost. Like I feel like I'm just starting to play RuneScape again. <laughs> it's, it's actually really fun at the same time. I really enjoy this. Oh, geez, this is this is nuts, dude. Huge difference. Huge difference. 151. For reference, my PR here with melee is 15 seconds, dude. 15 seconds. That is such a difference. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, this is something else, man. Something else. I probably should have brought a uh, Wen book as well. And Vuln Bombs. I keep forgetting Vuln Bombs. I don't know if that was... I feel like I should be using that a lot sooner, honestly. Okay, that was actually a lot better. I mean, that was a nice 126. So I increased my DPS quite a bit there. I also target cycled, so that definitely helps. Um, let me see. Yeah, it kind of sucks that I can't use um, Gricko because that would be another AoE ability. But I definitely don't want to cheese Gricko, so... Oh gosh, don't get hit. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, all right, so I think I'm actually going to Death Swiftness now oh big plays big plays bro wow much different well maybe not a whole lot different <laughs> what was my last oh 126 to 116 okay yeah i think this is kind of a weird one to try and do rotation on because there's so much movement and so much uh so many invulnerability frames here so it's kind of wonky i guess i think a better one a better ones would be pretty much any of the other god wars dungeon 2 bosses to kind of set a benchmark with oh nice two more Two more seconds there. Not too shabby. I mean, honestly, for not having great perks and really great weapons that are really benefiting from backrimmental bolts, I think it's. I think this is going pretty darn well. Oh, I almost died, bro. I almost got nuked. Oh gosh, I actually might get nuked. Where's that? Okay, okay. I think I have to bank after this kill, and I'm gonna get some Vuln bombs. Okay. Oh gosh. Please? Anytime. Anytime. 554 health. Please. Oh my gosh. Why did that take 12 years? All right, I have to bank. Jeez, that was only six kills, bro. Oh man, what a difference. What a difference, dude. I guess I could have done this the whole entire time. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Okay, yeah, I guess I can um, Death Swiftness like right in the beginning. Ooh, a nice 10k hit. I assume that was from the Book of Wen. 60k. All right, yeah, that felt a lot better up front, I will say. That felt a lot better up front. Ah, oh, dang it. Wrong time for the proc. There we go. That's a good time for the proc. Wine is Amorak. Not too shabby. All right, I feel like I could definitely get a sub one with this setup. I, I honestly think I could. I don't think it's too out of reach, honestly. Boom, boom. Oh, no. Not for real, really. Oh, good thing I had the freaking ring of death on, dude. Oh, I was really hoping that soul split would carry me there. I'm also a little bit too used to trim masterwork. So <laughs> I, I guess I need to kind of un get used to that. All right, let me also swap the ring off and play a little bit more cautiously. This is the longest Twin Furies task I've had in over a year, for sure. There we go. That is That was good. That was what I was hoping for, but I'm hitting a whole bunch of zeros, so I guess it really doesn't matter that much. Also, I, I don't know if I should really be using this normal shot. What's it called? Piercing shot? I think I should be using a stun instead, right? Oh, yeah. Nope. Safe up. Safe up. Oh, I'm also not overloaded. That could be why I was uh, missing. That's also why I'm not healing because I wasn't using soul split. Oh my gosh, dude. I am but a simple plebe. Oh, more wine of Zamorak. That's good. Tis good. 
420 Furies in normal mode. That's awesome. All right, I'm actually going to reset because I want to actually do the rotation that I have in mind and see how it see how it actually plays out. I really think I could get a sub one minute. That was really dangerous. Oh man, this is this is gonna be a good one. Oh wow. A 103.6. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah, a 103.6. That feels good. Oh man, I'm just thinking about what this PR could look like when I actually have a lot better gear. Like better perks, much better weapons, and like some switches. I have absolutely no switches. And um, this is this is pretty good. And I only have diamond back criminal bolts. I guess I could use ruby. Oh, but heck yeah, new PR almost. It's oh, it was literally the same one. Yeah, bro, ruby pro. Or <laughs> I was reading chat. Ruby uh, ruby bolts. Those are definitely the way to go. And if I have a better better use of my skills, then I'll definitely be able to hit that sub one. I can definitely do a sub one with rubies. RNG just has to be on my side. Okay, yeah, this feels a lot better when I can actually get this before for the big explosion. A lot, a lot, a lot of improvements for sure. Awesome. So let's go ahead and move to the GE and sell what we got because I do want to try and get a few more Ascension Keystones. See if we can get another Signet. Well, no luck on any of the drops. That's kind of our progress, I guess, for this for this video. There's quite a few things I do want to do right out the gate. Um, Obviously, right now, we just, we're just we kind of testing our limits, seeing what our current ability was with range, because I don't really know. I mean, I know that how combat functions in RuneScape now, but I don't really know exactly all the ins and outs of range. I see a lot of ability bars start with, uh, I think it's Corruption Blast or Corruption Shot. Um, so I, I'm not entirely sure why that is i don't know if it's because of bolt procs or it's just one of the best dps abilities because it's a nice bleed um i imagine it's probably the latter but um i am still not 100 percent sure on ability prioritize pri prioritize prioritization so if anybody watching this is a ranger guru then definitely let me know some tips on ability prioritization things i should look out for and like good habits i should start off with right from the get-go but yeah any tips will be greatly greatly appreciated and that's all i have for you today guys i really hope you enjoyed the first episode of my latest series the reckless ranger as mentioned in the intro i'm hosting a giveaway for all of the gp mentioned at the start i'll be drawing a total of 10 winners five here on youtube and five on tonight's stream over on twitch that means two chances to win if you'd like to enter on YouTube, make sure to drop a comment below with your RuneScape name, as well as a comment on what you're looking forward to the most in this series. Just your RuneScape name is required, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on the series. As for winning on Twitch, make sure to follow me over on Twitch and join me tonight at 7.30pm EST for a chance to win a split. The link to my Twitch channel is in the video description. And that wraps it up. Of course, make sure to like and subscribe. All that stuff really helps my channel's growth and is greatly appreciated. Once again, I'm Rayo, and I'll see you next time. Take care.